Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala syarafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Alhamdulillah, uh, we are going through our growth model eh? Remember in our coaching methodology we are using the growth model GROWTH. I've covered G goal setting R, reality check, O, option and obstacle, W, wheel and way forward, T is tactic. So today I'm going to give you the first one on life coach, tactics one. Eh? So we are going to go back to how we can understand using tactical skills eh, in life coaching. That means your, you as a life coach, you are actually practically immersed with uh, your coachee or your client who needs help. So you must have within your capacity the tools and the tactics. So we are talking about tactics and tools. Huh? These are the same thing. You have the tools uh, one or tactic one. Huh? So this can be tools, tactics, tools. Huh? All right. So the T stands for tactic and tools. And later on, I'll go into habits. Huh? Habits, okay? So there are many, many tactics and tools because this never ending process of becoming a life coach. It is experiential and it is wonderful, it is beautiful. Every day you can learn something new, apply some techniques, some tactics, some tools and so on and you learn and you grow with it. All right. So it's not that just today I teach you and tomorrow you become a life coach. It's not that easy. yeah. But through your experiential uh, situational conditions, you develop the capacity to give better and better advice and coaching to your coachee or client. All right. So there are hundreds of tools huh? so naturally i cannot give you all the tools but i want you to go back to this fundamental model of what i call tef or fet and tef model huh? remember i have given you the fettf cycle uh, in many many videos in the past but this can be a very powerful model and tool for tactics and tools huh? that means the very basis of positive islamic psychology tools would be based on this FET and TEF cycle. Eh? So I've explained to you what do you mean by FET and TEF cycle. At the horizontal level, this is the physical plane. All right. Thoughts, emotion, feelings. Eh? So you know, thoughts, emotion, feelings. At the spiritual plane, it is feeling, emotion, thoughts. So as, as, at the level of the SEM, all right, your S, your, this is your, your akal or your uh, mind. All right, all right. Then you have your heart, emotion, and then your uh, spirit. So S E M. It is moving in this direction. M going to E going to. So your S E M is the vertical aspect of your existence. Your physical aspect. This is your jasad or your physical P. So we have our model, as I told you. Total success S E M P. That means spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical. I'm giving you a. This is physical, eh? Physical plane, eh? Either your physical plane or your physical existence. We are bordering on thoughts, emotions, feelings that will cause action, and actual will give us result. At this, relying only on your physical capability, which is fantastic. Allah has given us this body, this transient life on this earth. All right, we are a contingent being, a transient being. That means we are time bounded, transient, contingent. That means we are created. All right, so we are always endowed with our physicality. So you cannot say, "Oh, this is not important." Or you just forget about this. You just talk about your spirituality. A lot of the new age guru, okay, forget about this. You can't forget it because this is your reality. All right. Oh, you can go straight to God. You know without i forget about your your reality in this dunia all right if you want to be a hermit sitting in a cave not involving anybody well that's that's your option eh? there are people who do that alhamdulillah that's good they're good wonderful human beings who understand the mystery of the spirituality uh, there are muslims who are also doing it uh, through their uh, very deep uh, what do you call it uh, muraqaba uh, uh, exclusion khalwa and so on yeah yeah you can do that but I'm talking about ordinary uh, Muslims, uh, the 1.7 billion Muslims who are practicing the normal life, all right, of living in this dunya. So as you live in this dunya, 
you have the circumstances and your situation. Your circumstances and situation at the physical plane will affect you. Eh? So this is the physical, the horizontal plane. This is the spiritual plane. The spiritual plane that means consisting of the S E M. But always your akal is the next level. Eh? So I'll explain to you uh, this just a summary. As I say, you go back to our S E M eh? uh, P and also go to the F E T and T E F cycle video. There's about ten videos there because this. If inshallah among some of you who are psychologists who wants to understand a tool uh, one tactics and tool that you can permanently apply as your research base is to use this okay it sounds very theoretical but it's very very practical and I'm going to just demonstrate to you over maybe a few videos how you can apply the FET and TF cycle remember at the horizontal plane you have your thoughts emotion feelings at the spiritual plane you have your feelings first your feelings come about firasat, ilham, and other spiritual input from the rim which Allah has given to you. Then affects your feelings will affect your spiritual emotion, or your heart, your cult, and will affect your akal, which affect your thought. So they are linked together. This is only jasad. All right. This is where the psychology of the West today is just about your brain, your brain, your brain. That means you're not talking about the horizontal is only talking about the horizontal plane of human existence on the physical plane but not the transcendent existence of human being as a being that have in its innate nature a spiritual being so we are a spiritual emotional mental being far above our just physical plane because the physical plane is just contingent transient temporary Time, bind, time binded, we live and then we die. But your spirituality will live on forever and forever. So, as you integrate the two together, you have the physical plane and the, uh, the horizontal plane and the vertical plane, you become an integrated self where you have positive inner speech. So, in our model, we teach you about inner speech. All right, you can see this in our uh, inner, inner speech. So, that model, you must master this, this model, uh, our PIP model, that gives you the whole idea of how to integrate the inner speech. But this is one tool that I want you to uh, understand. And in fact, you can write a book on this because there's a lot of empirical evidence in terms of higher feelings uh, from the realm of uh, what they call it now, they call it uh, the, the mind, mind state, mind sight. There are a lot of research. All right, the feelings and emotion at a higher level, your intuition, for example. Uh, you, you suddenly think of a person, suddenly one minute later he calls you. Where does it come from? All right, then manifestation of, for example, instantaneous healing. You have cancer and then you feel the feeling coming in and then your cancer is gone. Where does it come from? That means your physical body can be overwrought by the circumstances and the situation at the spiritual, emotional and mental level. This is far more powerful. And if you can harness this capacity, then you become the integrated self and having positive inner speech. And then you would have total success in this world and the hereafter, inshallah, living in Iman, Islam and Ihsan. Eh? So the first tool that you must understand is that we, at the physical plane, we are always bounded by our situation and circumstances so i'm giving you this first understanding our situation and our circumstances will affect our what? our thoughts our thoughts will trigger what our emotions our emotions will trigger our feelings and our feelings will then trigger our action and our action will then result in the result of whatever the circumstances that we have so we have S T E F A R. Yeah, if you want to have an acronym, you can have S T E F A R. All right. So your S T, your total S T E F A R. This is the acronym. S T Stefar. Ah, Stefar. Your Stefar. Your, situ your situation or circumstances will affect your thoughts. Your thoughts will affect your emotion. Your emotion will affect your feelings. Your feelings will then result in your action, whether positive or negative. Whether positive or negative. Eh? Positive or negative. And it will result in the result, whether positive 
result of negative, huh? Okay. Alright. So then these circumstances can also is also as you live in this dunya, it is controlled by your loci of control. If you study psychology, all right, you know that we have loci of control, which is uh, a lot of the psychology teachers will teach you that your loci of control can be external. That means you are bounded. Your situation is not internal. It is external. That means you are controlled by the external situation and you are just a victim of circumstances. A lot, a lot of people, for example, uh, their local control is they want approval from other people or they want something from other people but they have no internal loci of control so you must have an internal loci of control so then you become a successful human being all right so your loci of control if it is external then will affect your evaluation of your situation whether positive or negative whether good or bad and then it will affect your thoughts thoughts will affect your emotion emotion affects your feelings feelings accept it affects your actions then actions result uh, in the stafar whether positive or negative in this world at the physical level but you have a mechanism that will transcend all these things and that is the Islamic positive Islamic psychology beautiful if you study this inshallah then you can come up with a, a set of tools that is different from uh, from CBT for example or other uh, method all right, we have positive Islamic cognitive behavior therapy. This is one of the tools that I want more research to be done. How we can harness our internal strength at the spiritual, emotional, and mental level uh, together, harnessing your physical capability, understanding that circumstances have loci of control at your level, or whether external or internal, and then how this affect our life in this world. So this is just an overview. I'll give you practical examples of how to. Uh, utilize this tool in terms of the tactics uh, inshallah knowing that if we can harness our totality as a human being our spiritual emotional mental and physical self and understanding where feelings emotion and thoughts come at a higher level and where thoughts emotion and feelings come from the, at the physical level and how we can harness all these tools and change the circumstances then we can change ourselves to become an integrated self positive with positive inner speech having total success in this world and the hereafter inshallah knowing all this we are the servant of Allah his vice chairman his caliph on this earth all this striving to make ourselves good helping others to be good and making this world good for all humanity all living creatures all the goodly creatures that Allah has ordained upon us to give the fullness and receive the fullness of joy happiness in this world and the hereafter inshallah